Hello, 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 hello. I'm Earl Purdy, and I'm here today to give you your next Course in Miracles lesson, lesson 95. And lesson 95 is, I am one self, you name it, with my Creator. And I'm going to go through this rather rapidly because it's a long lesson. So get on board for the ride, and let's go through it. Let's go through it. I am as God created. I am one self. I am one self united with my creator. I am one self united with my creator. Lesson 95. I am one self united with my creator accurately describes you as God created you. You are one within yourself and one with God. Yours is the unity of all creation. Your perfect unity makes change in you impossible. You do not accept that the perfect unity in you makes change impossible. And you fail to realize that your perfect unity makes change impossible impossible only because you believe that you have changed yourself already you see yourself as a you see yourself as a ridiculous parody of God's creation there's a part of you that sees you as weak vicious ugly and sinful there's a part of you that sees you as miserable and beset with pain that is your version of yourself according to your ego you think that you are a self divided into many warring parts separate from God and tenuously held together by its erratic and capricious maker to which you pray it seems like that which created you doesn't hear your prayers because it is deaf. It doesn't see the oneness in you, for it's blind. It looks like what created you doesn't understand you as the Son of God, for it is senseless and understands nothing. We will attempt today to be aware of what can hear. We will, we will attempt today to be aware only of what can hear and see and makes perfect sense. We will again direct our exercises toward reaching your one self which is united with its creator. In patience and in hope, we try again today. The use of the first five minutes of every waking hour for practicing the idea for the day has special advantages at the stage of learning at which you are at the present. It is difficult at this point not to allow your mind to wander if your mind undertakes extended practice periods. You have surely realized that it is difficult to keep your mind from wandering by now. You have seen the extent of your lack of mental discipline and of your need for mind training. It is necessary that you be aware of the, your lack of mental discipline and your need for mind training, for it is indeed a hindrance to your advance. Frequent but shorter practice periods have other advantages for you at this time. In addition to recognizing your difficulties with sustained attention, you must also have noticed that unless you are reminded of your purpose frequently, you tend to forget about your purpose for long periods of time unless you are reminded of it frequently. You often fail to remember the short applications of the idea for the day, and you have not yet formed the habit of using the idea as an automatic response to temptation. Structure, then, is necessary for you at this time. Structure, plan to include frequent reminders of your goal and regular attempts to reach your goal. Regularity in terms of time is not the ideal requirement for the most beneficial form of practice in the Course in Miracles. It is advantageous, however, for those whose motivation is inconsistent. It is advantageous, however, for those whose motivation is inconsistent and who remain heavily dependent against learning to have regularity in terms of time. We would therefore keep to the five minutes an hour practice periods for a while and urge you to, uh, to and urge you to omit to omit as few of your practice periods as possible. Using the first five minutes of the hour would be particularly helpful since it imposes a firmer structure. Do not, however, use your lapses from this schedule as an excuse not to return to your practice periods again as soon as you can. There may well be temptation to regard the day as lost because you have already failed to do what is required. This should, however, merely be recognized as what it is, which is a refusal to let your mistake be corrected if you don't go ahead and do it anyway. It represents an unwillingness to try again if you don't go ahead and do your lesson regardless of how you feel or whether or not you've missed your lesson. The Holy Spirit, your higher self, your, the Holy Spirit, your higher self, is not delayed in his teaching by your mistakes. The Holy Spirit, your real self, from God, can be held back only by your unwillingness to let your mistakes go. Let us therefore be determined, particularly for the next week or so, to be willing to forgive ourselves, forgive yourself for the lapses in diligence. Forgive yourself for your failures to follow the instruction for practicing the day's idea. This tolerance for weakness will enable you to overlook your weakness. 
rather than give your weakness power to delay your learning. Learn to have a tolerance for your weakness. If you, if you give your weakness the power to delay your learning, it means that you are regarding your weakness as strength, and that means you are confusing strength with weakness. Do you know that when you fail to comply with the requirements of this course, you have merely made a mistake? A mistake calls for correction and for nothing else. To allow a mistake to continue is to make additional mistakes based on the first and reinforcing the first. It is this process of reinforcing your mistakes that must be laid aside, for it is but another way in which you would defend illusions against the truth is reinforcing your mistakes. Let all these mistakes go by recognizing mistakes for what mistakes Mistakes are. Mistakes are attempts to keep you unaware. You are oneself, united with your creator, at one with every aspect of creation, and limitless in power and in peace. This is the truth, and nothing else is true. Today we will affirm this truth again. Today we will try to reach the place in which there is no doubt that only this is true. Begin to practice periods today with this assurance offered to your mind with all the certainty that you can give. I am one self, united with my creator, at one with every aspect of creation and limitless in power and in peace. Then close your eyes and tell yourself again slowly and thoughtfully, attempting to allow the meaning of these words to sink into your mind, replacing false ideas. Say to yourself, I am one self. Repeat this several times and then attempt to feel the meaning that the that the words convey. Attempt to feel the meaning that the words convey. I am one self. You are one self. You are united and secure in light and joy and peace. You are God's creation. You are one self with one creator and one goal to bring awareness of this oneness to all minds. The true creation may extend the allness and the unity of God. You are one self. That means you are complete and healed and whole. It means you have the power to lift the veil of darkness and fear from the world. It means let the light in you come through to teach the world the truth about yourself. You are one self in perfect harmony with all there is and all that there will be. You are one self, the Holy Son of God. You are united with your brothers in that one self. You are united with your Father in His will. Feel this one self in you and let the one self in you shine away all your illusions and all your doubts. This is your one self, the child of God himself. You are sinless as your creator, and your creator's strength is within you, and your creator's love is forever yours. You are one self, and it is given you to feel this one self within you. It means you are to cast all your illusions out of this one mind. Cast all of your illusions out of the one mind that is this self, which is the holy truth in you. Do not forget today. We need your help. We need your little part in bringing happiness to all the world. And heaven, which is reality, looks to you in confidence that you will try today. You will try today. Share the in reality's surety because reality's surety is yours. Be vigilant. Don't forget today. Throughout the day, do not forget your goal. Repeat today's idea as frequently as possible. Understand each time you repeat this idea, someone hears the voice of hope every time you repeat your lesson. Someone feels the stirring of the truth within their mind, the gentle rustling of the wings of peace every time that you say your lesson. Your own acknowledgement, your own acknowledgement, you are one self, you name it with your Father, is a call to all the world to be at one with you. To everyone you meet today, be sure to give the promise of today's idea. Tell everyone you meet today, you are one self with me. United with our Creator in this self. I honor you because of what I am and what God is who loves us both as one. The lesson for today is I am one self united with my Creator. I am one self united with my Creator. Tell yourself, I am one self united with my Creator. You are one self united with your Creator. You are one self united with your Creator. I am one self united with my Creator. 
you are one self united with your creator i am one self united with my creator well mighty companion I want you to let peace extend from my mind and heart to yours. Check me out at www.earlpurdy.com. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you.